So what do you think about abortion? Well, in my, uh, my opinion of abortions is that I don't believe in them, but everybody's body is their choice. But I don't consent, and I won't consent for it because I don't believe in it. So you would consider yourself pro-choice? Yes. Okay. Um, would you be okay with, like, restrictions during, nine, during the nine months of pregnancy, such as allowed only in the first three months or only for six months? Um, I would say if they want to get abortion, um, I would say up to the first three months that I think that it would be okay. But I think anything after three months, I don't think that they should. Okay. Can you tell me how an abortion is performed at any stage? Like what all goes into the procedure? No, because I've never done it. So I can't tell you how they do it or how they go about doing it at all. In one word, can you tell me the reaction to that video? Mortified. Can you elaborate? To actually look at that and to actually see how they does it and to see that it's actually a human being. Um, a child that can't even protect itself or even say anything or scream or ask for help that we are doing this to. Did you learn anything new that you didn't know about abortion before? Well, yeah, I actually learned how they do it, the process of it. It's like taking my grandbaby who's, you know, two months and just killing her because I, I chose the death part of life that I don't want anymore. So it, it's just hard to look at that. Yeah. Who would you say needs to see this video? Congress, the presidents, I, I think they need to see it. Yeah, actually, Absolutely. because I know a majority of everyone has a grandchild or a child or have raised one, and they should be able to see that. Would you say that your opinions change now to when you said before, you know, only certain, if there's certain situations, would your opinion change? I say that because I'm saying if a, a, a female was raped and she became pregnant, and she chose not to keep that baby for those those reasons, I can see that because it was through action or, you know, a through no fault of her own. Yeah. But just to do it because it's you can and that you're able to do it, I would think it's a crime. So a pro-life perspective um, on that for a woman who went through, you know, a horrendous situation like being taken advantage of, the pro-life perspective would, would be to recognize the humanity of the child that was conceived in rape. You know, when we're walking down the street, we can't tell if someone was conceived in rape, had two parents, you know, if they were conceived through IVF, we wouldn't know that, right? right. And so telling someone, you know, just because the way you were conceived, um, you don't deserve to be here, would, wouldn't be fair. We don't tell the woman that she has to parent. Actually, 70% of people who conceive uh, through rape actually do parent, and, you know, that's her decision. But I just, I would say, you know, the loving and pro-life perspective would be, you know, we're not going to make you be a mother. Absolutely not. We're gonna, not going to make you take care of this child. But ending that child's life, you know, right. would not be a loving option. I agree. Yeah. I truly agree.